Hey guys, this is Drew from uh, Northridge Community Church. I just wanted to go ahead and give you a tour of, uh, of my church today uh, here. So um, I'm upstairs in our, uh, in our booth, um, which is about 60 some odd feet away from the speakers. Uh, our room is uh, pretty medium, medium size, it's pretty good. Goes, uh, goes pretty far, and then the booth um, starts, uh, starts over on the right side and goes all the way around the back. Um, so here's our, here's our stage. Uh, we have our main array is right here on the top of our uh, two EAW uh, KF650Es. Uh, the downfills are KF300Es. Uh, and then over here we have some side fills, which is really hard to see. Um, those are KF650Es. Uh, down here on the front, uh, right down here, and over on this side right there are our subwoofers. Uh, they're beneath the stage. Uh, and then starting on the front, uh, we have four, uh, I think they're JF50Ss. They're little kind of front fill uh, monitors, not too, uh, not too big of a deal, but they, uh, they do, their, do their job. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the booth set up up here. So let's see here, switch to the next camera. So here is our Behringer uh, X32 digital board. It's beautiful, uh, very, very much like them. We also have our uh, Mackie uh, near field monitors. Um, I actually do a lot of mixing off of these. Uh, I've time aligned them to the uh, mains to uh, arrive to me at the same time. Uh, same time, which is nice. Um, but since our the way that our uh, main array is hung uh, actually doesn't get too much uh, information back here other than the lower end. So I mostly rely on these uh, for um, my uh, more high-end stuff, uh, just kind of adding in some detail. You can think of it kind of as a delay stack um, where you would be uh, taking the main source of all of your uh, information kind of mids down from the mains, but only adding in the highs and stuff that's kind of missing. Um, so we have our uh, Behringer X32 here. And then over here on the right-hand side, we'll pan over here, we have a uh, really uh, kind of slow old machine sitting there on the bottom. Uh, the next thing up is our Tascam uh, Delta Victor uh, Romeo Alpha 1000. Uh, that is a uh, that's a CD uh, recording and mastering thing. Uh, it's uh, beautiful. We uh, switched it out with a um, from a different one that was previous, and uh, very happy to switch that out. Uh, next is our good old Denon uh, Denon uh, CD player and cassette. Not that I've played a cassette in years, but you know it's there. Um, and then right up on top we have Smart going, uh, which is. Uh, Beautiful to have, um, and Smart is just—it's just such a great program. Uh, we usually run it with the spectrograph on the bottom, just putting in the RTA in a time domain. Um, that way, if there's a piece of feedback, you know, you'll see it is a uh, uh, basically color, um, and it has a, a pretty good time zone. So, you know, so you can see that I just had a feedback right beneath uh, 2K. Um, so then working right over here, this is uh, our pastor uh, mic receiver. Um, and then over on the left-hand side of the monitor, I'll turn the monitor so you can see it better. Uh, this is our directional antenna um, for getting the, um, the pastor mic. Uh, this is made by uh, a ham uh, radio operator, um, his uh, call sign is uh, Whiskey Alpha 5 Victor Juliet Bravo. Uh, bought it off of uh, eBay. Um, he has a, a store off of eBay, but this, uh, this basically has about um, 11, it's about, actually about 10 dB more gain than the, uh, the just the little stock antennas that come uh, with the Shure. Uh, it's, it's a log periodic, basically the same thing that Shure makes um, and sells for, you know, 300, two or 300 bucks, but uh, this is $25 and it works beautifully. A uh, pretty wide spectrum on that as well. It goes uh, from 400 hertz, uh, or 400 megahertz all the way up to uh, a gigahertz uh, as far as receive and send goes. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and pin you all the way down here. This is our wireless LAN. So we have our six wireless uh, receivers for our microphones. And then right below that is our Sennheiser uh, EW1 uh, what are these, EW100s? Um, 
these, uh, these are all of our wireless in-ear monitors. Uh, so we actually have six channels that we're sending off of five transmitters. Uh, so the last one, the five and six, uh, left is five, and then right is sent as six. Um, so these are beautiful units. We love them a lot. Uh, and down on the bottom is a voltage regulator, uh, Furman. Um, very nice uh, thing to have down there. Basically, it takes in the voltage and uh, gives it a even uh, 120 uh, volts out. Um, it, uh, it, if there's a, an under voltage or an over voltage, it switches within one millisecond, which is awesome. So it gives really, really clean power. Uh, also, it's 20 amp. Um, so we have a 20 amp circuit in the wall right behind here. So I run uh, the computers, the monitor, um, the board, and all of that stuff off of, uh, off of that single 20 amp circuit, which is not like nothing at all. Down here is the, uh, the amp. Um, amp meter down here, and uh, I've, it's never gone over six uh, with the computer running and everything. Um, so anyway, that's a, that's a real quick tour of, uh, of our, our sound booth up here, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free, uh, feel free to post below. Thank you.